Today is Tool Talk Tuesday here on Paint Live TV. I'm Chris Idaho Painter. I'm going to be showing you or introducing you to uh, two new tools. Maybe you've seen them, maybe you haven't. One of them is the Provinci Roller Saver. I've tested out a lot of roller covers over my years, never liked any of them until I found this one. Absolutely amazing roller saver. And then the Lend Bide Scraper. If you don't have a Lend Bide Scraper, it's one of those tools every painter or do-it-yourselfer that's painting should have in your pocket along with a five-in-one tool. So I'm gonna talk about those two tools, show you a multitude of different um, things we're doing with the Linbide Scraper and how you use the Roller Saver if you're coming back to the job multiple days. So stay tuned, Tool Talk Tuesday right here on Paint Life TV. All right, the first tool we're gonna to be talking about today is the Provinci Roller Saver. This thing, a lot of these devices that I've tested out over the years are typically a really cheap plastic that's gonna fatigue and break. If you step on it, it's gonna break. This one is a really soft rubber and it's not going to break. You can step on it, roll on it, drive on it. Um, it's going to last probably almost forever. It's a great little device to put your roller cover in and it can still stay on the roller cage itself. And I've literally put a um, roller inside here, wet paint, had it in for over two weeks and it still stayed wet. So if you're coming back like this job, we're working here, we've been here for, um, probably way too long now. It's a couple weeks and if you're doing, we're doing a lot of priming right now and I'm coming back and priming uh, day in and day out. I don't want to sit here and load up and clean a roller every single day. Wrapping it in plastic, you know, you're just using plastic that's just going to go to the landfill. That's going to take time. The roller saver is a simple, easy tool to use that you can stick the roller in. I'm just going to uncover my roller tray. This is one way you can take, you can put plastic over your roller tray, wrap tape around it, and then it's gonna stay fresh. It's not gonna get wet, but that's one option. If you like taking and cleaning up your trays or the trays out of paint and you're gonna use your roller the next day, that's where your roller saver comes in handy. It's got a little slot right here where the uh, roller cage sets in, so you can eventually get an airtight uh, seal on it. So it's just going to slide right down inside. Very simple and easy to use. Slide it in, set it down, going to put the top right on it. And that is how fast your roller is protected. Now you can take it off and um, head on home, come back the next day. It's ready to use. It stays wet inside. So when I'm done using this, if I'm done for the week, done for the day or whatever, I can just fill it up with water put the lid back on it, shake it up, it's gonna clean out, or you could let the paint dry inside of it if you keep the lid off of it. You wanna make sure if you're using white today and you're using black down the road um, uh, later on that the white in there is dry because if you put a black roller in there and it gets white paint on it, then um, you contaminated the paint. But clean it out or let it dry and reuse it. It's a Provinci Roller Saver. You can see it's soft, flexible, extremely durable, and it's going to last you a long time. Highly recommended. It's available at paintlifesupply.com, and it's one of those tools that we love and endorse. Now I'm going to talk about the Linbide Scraper. This is a tool I've been using for years, um, kind of like the 5-in-1 tool. You have to have one, one of these things in your side pocket or tool bag as a painter or do it yourself or there's so many things you can use this for. I'm going to run around. We're doing a renovation of a 1950s duplex here and I've been using it every single day, uh, scraping paint runs, scraping um, burrs, scraping uh, putty, epoxies, um, all kinds of different things. I'm scraping floors, walls, ceilings with it. So let's take off. We're going to show you how useful this little tool is. It's got a five millimeter reversible carbide blade on it. It's a metal constructed device. This thing literally, you could run this thing over with your truck and it's not going to bend it. It's not going to break it, damage it. It will last you literally forever. It's a one-time purchase. The blades are reversible. It's a carbide blade that will last in an extremely long time. But if you do hit nails and stuff with it, you could chip the blade, but it's extremely sharp great for scraping out paint runs. So let's take off. I'm going to show you some of the places we're using this thing. 
All right, so we're doing you know this 1950s renovation. These were all uh, stain grade doors. We're priming them. Um, so a couple of them have been painted, but there's all kinds of little um, boogers and things on them. You can get out the sander and sand that off. It's going to take a lot longer to sand it versus just scraping it. You can see when there it just scraped off a bunch of loose paint right there, but that's actually primer. You can see right there, scrape these little burrs off. So it's going to scrape this stuff off a lot faster than it will take to sand it. So it does have a reversible blade right here, just a flathead screwdriver, and I can reverse this blade and have a sharp blade again. So if you need to flip your blade over, this blade, we've been, I've been using it for quite some time here, weeks. I've hit a few nails and things in walls here and there. So it's blade needs to be flipped over, reversed. Oh, there's a magnet like stuck down there. This isn't going so well. Talking all built up around it. The magnet, like, wedged down there, an earth magnet. Heck. Yeah. It's a good thing we have Matt to edit this. Shows you how often we flip the blades over. Pretty rare. Whoa, that's sharp. Damn. Whoa, what are you doing? So I'm just scraping down the edge of these doors where the paint's built up. You can see, I just flipped over my blade. Been using the other blade for so long. It's literally been months since I've switched it. Now I switched it over, and it's just like razor sharp on this other side. See how easily it will shave down these runs right here. Just very little pressure. We got some paint built up on these edges. This causes the door to not close properly. You see this run right here? Scrape that out. So I got a wall right here. This wall had all kinds of nails in this wall. And it's uh, a wallpapered and paneled wall that's been painted multiple times. We're trying to get it flat and we've spackled, bondoed it and scraped it multiple times. But here's like a nail sticking out right there. But this wall, you can see you can take your Lenbide scraper, find things that need to be scraped get them flat using it there let's we'll walk around here we'll show you here's a door jam we're working on scraping once again a lot of this stuff was been hand painted with brush and rollers caused a lot of built up along the edges of this door jam you can see you can scrape this simple fast and easy to get some of this build up off here flatten it out there's some runs here I can scrape these runs out this is so much faster than actually sanding but I will go back with my Eka sand sander and sand when I'm done here so show you some other things throughout this house we're using it for here's a wall we're working on this laundry room it's got all kinds of burrs Boogers things sticking out, we're scraping down. And we'll sand this. We've sanded it once, primed it, but you can see just knock a lot of these things down. See how fast and easy it scrapes. Here's a door jam with a lot of buildup on the edges. Let's 
So I'm just scraping right here. Here's where I just hit a nail. We're gonna reset that. Those are the kind of things that you know, could uh, nick or ding your scraper. So you wanna be careful. If you see any nails, you don't want to you know, scrape over the nails. These corners got a lot of buildup on them from people rolling the walls, getting build up along those edges. We're shaving all that down, make these corners look a little bit better. Uh, scraping. These were, we got little volcanoes from where nails were in before we spackle them. We like to scrape these things down. There's something build up on that wall right there. Kind of a seam in the wall, we'll scrape that down right there. A lot of different things. Here's a wall. It's got some huge texture imperfections we can scrape down. We've already sanded this wall with our Planix. There's a nail right there we can set. You can see how versatile this tool is. We can just walk around, use this thing for all kinds of different things. One of the best things is, is for scraping down runs before you have to sand it to get rid of runs. I can't even tell you how many coats of paint on there from rolling and a lot of buildup on these cabinets where the hinges were and stuff. So we're scraping these down prior to sanding. We can get flat edges, get all this paint buildup off these edges. Handy little tool. So there you have a tool, really cool tool, really cool tool. So there you have it, two really cool tools that you should have if you're a painter or even a do-it-yourself or the Provinci Roller Saver, an awesome tool, and the Linbide Scraper. There are other brands of the Linbide Scraper out there and they're not nearly as good as the Linbide itself. Don't buy the fake, only get a true Linbide Scraper right here with a five millimeter reversible carbide blade, both of these items are available at Paint Life Supply Co. So go check it out. If you've got any tools that you think are absolutely amazing tools that we should review, test, or even put in the store, just leave it down in the comments section below. Uh, give us a shout out to your favorite tool. The only reason I found out about this, I was over in Hawaii years and years ago, and I was interviewing some painters on a job site, and I asked the guy what his favorite tool was. He broke this out of his um, side pocket of his painter's pants and showed it to me after about, I'd been painting for maybe 15 years and I'd never seen this tool ever before, never heard of it, never even knew what it was. And I went out and bought one and it became one of my favorite tools ever. It's one of the top 10 tools every painter should have, the Linbide Scraper. So we learn from you just like you learn from us. If you've enjoyed this video, if you think the tools are cool, if you think Matt's doing a killer job with the video, editing in production, let us know down below. Give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time right here on Paint Life TV. Out.